everybody and welcome back to my channel. If y'all are new here, welcome. My name is Taja. Make sure that you're part of the family. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. As you can see by the title of this video, honey child, guess what we doing today, girl? So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how my twist out comes out. This will be my very first time twisting out my hair. I'm a little bit nervous because I got all pretty for this video today. So if this twist out is a fail, then I don't know if I'll be posting this. This is what we're working with. This was my first time actually making twists on my hair too. And I recorded it for you guys. It's currently up on my channel. So if you haven't checked out that video, click the link down below to see how I achieved those twists. I made an aloe vera oil for my hair and I'm showing you guys all of that in that video. But I'm gonna start with the back and work my way up. When I did those twists, I braided the hair about an inch and then I twisted the rest so it could last longer because, because I did medium sections. This is the first one so far. Okay, okay, honey. So I'm in the front portion of my hair, you guys. It took me a little bit longer because, um, you know, I braided the top part of it at least a good inch before we started twisting it. So, but I'm not done because there are one, two, three, four, like five twists left. <laughs> The whole time that I had my hair in the twist, I was like, I need to see my hair. I need to feel it. I need to see my curls. Like, that's why I don't do sew-ins or any type of protective style that's going to be in there for too long. Because I got to be able to manage my hair. I got to be able to work with it. I do it is and I have a video on this I blend the aloe vera extract with some castor oil that has a rosemary mint in it but if you don't have a rosemary mint use some type of um, mint or scented oil because it smells pretty strong you know the aloe vera has a distinct smell and then I mix that with some olive oil I blend it all together I strain it and then I put it in a spray bottle and spray it out on my hair or my scalp. I've been doing that while I have my twist and then I've been doing my castor oil treatment every other night and my growth my growth oil treatment every night. So I mean, you know, you gotta feed your hair, honey. You gotta give it some love. I have some knots here and there. I'm gonna go with this comb and just get in there to Kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm basically just, how do I explain what I'm doing right now? <laughs> but we do want some volume too, honey. I'm gonna try a side part, a side part with this. <sighs> oh my God. My olive growth oil. Yeah, I'm just basically going to go throughout my hair because I feel like it looks just a tad bit dry. I'm gonna unravel some of the thicker curls like this one. More of like break them apart, you know? Like that. And then anywhere that I notice that the curl is not too defined, I'm just gonna do this with it. Go flicky side, what do you mean? Let's get into the edges, honey, because this right here is a no-no. I'm gonna use the edge booster. Now 
there is a little bit of buildup on this side. So what you can do is use like, you can use something to pin the hair up or do a side braid or something like that. I think that would be really cute. And then I'm gonna do something real quick with this. You know, like maybe curl it up a bit. I'm gonna tweak it up a bit, see how I like it. So yeah, this is the final look, you guys. I am so happy. I love it. Um, I gotta do this more often, Penny. You know, if I got somewhere to go. Anyways, I hope that y'all enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, make sure you let me know down below what you think about this look. And if you want more natural hair videos. And I will see y'all in my next video.